Go Country 105. I am talking to the man himself, Brett Eldridge. How you doing, man? Man, I'm so good. I feel good today. It's a it's a beautiful day. I don't know how you possibly feel good. You were just on Stephen Colbert last night from your home. You must be a little tuckered out from that. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's uh, it's an interesting experience playing on your back for- porch in front of a mil- millions of people. But it was uh, it was a really cool experience, and obviously, I enjoy going to the studios and playing and all that. But you know, we're all we're all in this together, riding it out at home, and and I'm glad to uh, have the opportunity to to to, to get in play my music in front of that many people and and uh i appreciate colbert for that so uh, it was a lot of fun do you get a little bit more nervous when you're at home and just looking at a screen as opposed to the live audience because i imagine you feed off the audience yeah it's it's interesting um yeah having an audience is pretty cool to to kind of give that energy to you know um um, when you're kind of there on your lonesome i just try to connect with the song and imagine people out there (laughs) <laughs> on the other side dancing and and that they need they need this song to 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 get them through the day and put a smile on their face and that's that's what drives me to to keep going i'm sure they were dancing at home let's talk about your new song it is out right now and it's called gabrielle yeah this song is is the first first single off off my album uh sunday drive that comes out july 10th but this song is a is a just a really special song that kind of is a good indicator of what this album holds, but it's, it's it starts off with a beautiful piano riff and it kind of just sets you in a setting of the relationship that I had. And I think a lot of people have had where it, it didn't work out, but, but it was great. Um, and you, it just didn't go the distance and you always wonder, you know, was it, was it your heart? Was it my heart? Uh, was it just the wrong time? And, you know, it, we never got very far, but girl, wherever you are, I wish you well, Gabrielle. And it's like, it's like, the sentiment of you know the bittersweetness of of uh just being like uh well i wish you well no matter what and uh, this probably won't happen again but but uh, i'm glad to have the moments that we had together and and uh i'm better for it uh, it it's like the nicest you sound like the nicest guy ever when you say that <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the <either>. song <laughs> this song definitely has a unique feel to it it's got a different sound how did you end up landing on this sound do you feel like you were taking some risks yeah, well, you know, I wanted to. I always want to take risks as a creator and as a songwriter and as a as a person. But you know, I really w- went into it, this album of being like, I want, I want to, uh, I want to dive much deeper. I want to be vulnerable. I want to tell stories honestly to my to my life, not just a love song. But okay, if it is a love song, let's tell the reality of what really happened, and that's what happened with this song. And and uh, yeah, just taking the you know, letting the song be the song here, and let my vocals get out there and so I could tell the story and and uh and ha- uh, I wanted to just stick out there when you when you hear it and say that sounds like nobody but but my song you know and that's what I love about my favorite artists is our, I know exactly who that is when I hear them and I want it to be different than anything else you're hearing and, and uh I think we nailed that with this with this song and this album so I'm excited for that sounds great you wrote this song and you recorded it in Chicago is that right yeah I I, I wrote this in um in Nashville, and then we didn't. Yeah, we went and recorded the. This is the first song I recorded actually in Chicago for the album, and and uh, and I wanted to get that kind of Midwest flair to this song, and 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 I, I lived in Chicago for a little bit as well, and I'm from Illinois, so it was just important to kind of get that that part of my life into my music, and and like like I never had before, and and uh, we really did it with this with this song and with this music, and and. Uh, Man, it just the fir- first take of this song, first time I recorded it, the first pass, uh, we nailed it in the first pass, and I was like, man, this is going to be something special. And it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes you get in there and you're like, oh, just wrestling a song for hours. We nailed it right away and, and uh, never looked back. That's fantastic. Well, I'm sure, quote unquote, Gabrielle is out there somewhere kicking herself. <laughs> but huh. in the meantime, our listeners should go check out that song. It is out right now. Thank you so much, Brett, for calling in. I appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. Go Country 105. Go Country 105.